Tip number 77. Make component outline a little bit bigger than component real size. And when I say component outline, this is what I mean. The line around a component. Usually it's the white line on the PCBs, you know, white line around components on the PCBs. I know some companies, they create special mechanical layer where they draw the component shape. We do not really spend the time creating this special layer. We use the outline layer and the 3D models. That's what is enough for us to be sure we will be able to place all the components and there will be no conflict between the components. So we are very careful about how we create this outline layer. And, uh, and one of the main uh, things about the outline layer is uh, you need to be sure that if you place other components, the way that they will be touching this outline layer, that you still will be able to fit the components. So the outline layer needs to be a little bit bigger than a real component. Okay. Many times we place the components directly on the outline like this. Can you see directly on the outline? And don't forget, you cannot just create outline based on the number in the data sheet. Like here, you can see 5.18 by 5.18 because there is some tolerance. Yeah. The maximum size of this component, this inductor data sheet, is 5.18 plus 0.254. So be very, very careful, okay? The outline needs to be a little bit bigger than the biggest uh, shape of the component. Don't forget about the tolerance. You really don't want to run into situation when you place this uh, processor on your board and you put these components very close to this processor and then when you send the board to production they will tell you that they cannot place the uh, components around the processor because they are too close to the processor i'm pretty sure you know what i mean tip number 77 make component outline a little bit bigger than component real size why you want to be sure that you will be able to fit all components on your pcb even if their outlines are touching 